What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do performance mode in the playlist of FL Studio. So let's get right into it. So performance mode lets you jump between markers and kind of do just like a live performing mode. Say you were just at a at a party or someplace and you wanted to just do something live. You do this with any beats you've already made and get some really cool stuff. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do is you need a MIDI control. Okay, so I have a Novation launch key. All right, so we're going to want to go to options, MIDI settings. Okay, now you want to go over to the song marker jump MIDI channel. Okay, I put mine at 16. All right, so put yours at whatever, but you're going to need to remember what you use. Over on the MIDI keyboard, you have a Novation launch key to change what MIDI channel you have. button right up. Buttons, fill some up and bring it to whatever you want. Put it to six. Now, now, when we go back to the playlist, we're going to want to just add some markers, okay? We'll go to the drop down menu, go to time markers, and let's do add one every. Let's do eight bars. <clears throat> we'll just call this mark marker and hit enter. Now it's going to add a marker every eight bars for us, okay? Now, the next thing we want to do to get into performance mode is. In the playlist, click the drop down arrow and then click on performance mode. The shortcut's control P. All right, now we can go ahead and start messing with it. So I'm going to pull up an image right now that shows all of the buttons and what they do for performance mode in FL Studio. So you can save this image. I'll have the link to the FL Studio manual where it talks about performance mode and it has kind of the description so you can check this out for yourself. But essentially, after we hit play, we can hit each one of these white notes and it will switch between markers, okay? So when you're on performance mode, it's going to play the current bar and then switch to whatever you choose to be the next bar. So if you switch from marker one to marker two, it's gonna wait until the current bar of marker one is over to switch to marker two. If you go out of performance mode, you can do it without having to wait for the bar. So yeah, definitely check out the FL Studio manual section talking about it. I'll have it linked in the description. There's so much more you can do with the black keys and all that. So this is just an intro video to the performance mode, the live mode inside the playlist of FL Twenty. This video brought you value. Please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.